If you're new to Integromat and you want to utilize this automation software to its full potential, well, you're in the right place. My name's Sean Debbie. I'm a certified automation consultant, and today we'll be going through the basics of how to use Integromat. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up your first automation and you'll also know your way around the software. Let's get into it. Okay, so with Integromat, the first thing you need to do is you need to sign up for your account. And you could do so by hitting the link in the description. Um, it's obviously an affiliate link and you'll be supporting the channel. And if you like what you're seeing, also feel free to subscribe. Okay, so once you've signed up for your account, the first thing you're going to land on is the main dashboard. And this is really where you're going to be seeing all of the active scenarios, which is what your automations are called within uh, Integromat. And on the left, we also have this menu here. Now, I know initially it can seem overwhelming because there's quite a few options within the menu. You don't have to worry about it too much. The main parts you have to worry about when starting off is the main dashboard, which I've already spoke about. It just shows you the automations that we've already created and you can toggle things like your user um, options and your subscriptions. We have the scenarios here, which shows you the scenarios or automations that you've previously built within the account. And we also have the template section as well. And a template section is very useful because it essentially has different um, templates of automations that people have used before. And then you can also um, use this to get some ideas for your own automations as well. And if you see any you like, it's as simple as just clicking them and then they'll be loaded into your account and you just need to plug in uh, the right, um, and you'll just need to plug in the right credentials from there. But we're going to go forward and create our first scenario. So the way to do that is we just need to head to the home, the main dashboard. We'll click on create scenario right here. And now what we need to do is we need to select what apps we want to be included in this automation. So the automation I'm going to be creating, uh, what I want to happen is every time I receive an email in Gmail, I want it to add a row into a spreadsheet which I've previously created. And we can see the spreadsheet right here. So it's a simple spreadsheet. I've just got the name, email and subject right here. So when we first click on create a scenario, it's gonna ask us to search for the app. So I'm gonna select Gmail right here. And then I'm gonna select the second one which is Google Sheets. We'll click and continue on the top right. And once we've done that, the first thing we're going to see is this empty module right here. So another thing with Integromat is each, you could think of each part of the automation as a module. So in this case, Gmail is gonna be one module and Google Sheets is gonna be the second module. So we need to select our first module, which is gonna be Gmail. We'll select that right here. And then once we've selected Gmail, we can see a list of triggers, actions, and iterators as well. Triggers is what starts off uh, the whole automation, and an action is the thing um, that you want to happen uh, from another trigger, trigger happening, essentially. We'll learn about iterators um, at a little bit of a later time uh, when we're going on to more advanced stuff, but we're keeping it really simple for now. So we'll click on watch emails because that's what we want it to do. And then the first thing you need to do is you need to add a connection if you haven't got run already. And the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to add a connection if you haven't got one already. And that's just where you're connecting your account to the Integromat app. So I've already connected my Gmail account to this app. But if you do need to connect it, you just click on add right here. The second part we need to do is we need to pick a folder that we want to the emails to be searched from. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with the inbox and keep it simple. We can do the filter type, but we'll keep that simple as well. And then for the criteria, we're just gonna select um, all emails, but we do have the options for only read and uh, unread emails as well. Then we'll ignore the rest for now. We'll just hit okay at the bottom. 
And now it's going to ask us where we want to start. So we could we could say if we wanted it to start searching from emails from this point on. So we could just leave it from now on. Uh, if you had a specific date or time in mind, you can also do that just by selecting the calendar. Uh, or you could just um, go for all of the emails as well. But we're just going to go from now on. Um, we're just keeping this one simple. And then once we've hit OK, uh, we can see the first module has been put into place. So now what we need to do is we just need to add the second part of the automation, which is the second module. So we'll just click on the plus sign right here. And we can see the question markers came up again. So we'll click on Google Sheets, which is the second part of this automation or the action. And then in this case, we can see the action we want is at the top. So we just want to add a normal spreadsheet row. So I'll click on add row. And once we've done that, again, you just need to connect your account. So you could do that just by hitting this add button and it's going to ask you to log in with your credentials. Uh, but as we can see, I've already connected my account. Then next thing we need to do is it's going to ask us if we want to uh, select a spreadsheet or map one manually but again just keep it really simple if it's your first time just select one um, and that will be your easiest option then at the bottom right here we need to select which spreadsheet we would like to be included as we could see here mine's named the Integromat email so we're just going to look for that right here and I've selected that here then it's going to ask us to select which sheet we want to be adding the rows to. I've only got one sheet within that spreadsheet, so that's that. And now that we've done that, what we can see here are all of the fields that I've actually added into the spreadsheet have actually appeared now. Uh, but if you don't want to add it to a field, that's also fine. As you can see, we could add it to different rows. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data coming in from Gmail into those Google spreadsheet rows. So in this name section, I'm going to look for the name. So these are all of the uh, Gmail data that's been just been pulled in. So I'll look for name. So send a name. That's good enough for me. E for email, we'll click on email address right here. And then lastly, for the subject, we'll just look for the subject uh, data point right here. So we've done that. And it's as simple as that. So now all those fields have been mapped. We can double check it. We're happy to go. If I wanted to map other fields, you could also do that. But obviously I'm not. So we'll just click OK. And now that we've clicked OK, so this is our first automation uh, which has been built. So what you can do from here is if we take a look at this big play button on the left right here we can click run once and essentially what that has done is that has just tested that initial automation we can see the green tick right here just showing that's gone through uh, in the bottom right hand corner there's also a log just showing you um, the processes that it's taken but you can also look at this log for any errors that may come up uh, with your automations in future and once you're happy with that, we can click on this button right here. And this is the scheduling button. So you could have this schedule to run at regular intervals. Um, the On the free plan, the lowest interval you can have it running at is every 15 minutes. Um, if you need something a little bit more frequent, then you are going to need to upgrade your plan. So we could do that right here. I'm just going to activate it. And now uh, this automation has completely been set up um, so that's really just a simple form of how to create um, an automation uh, within Integromat and you can really get creative with these as well so this is a really simple one but you can actually have multiple steps as well and if you wanted to have multiple steps it's as simple as clicking the plus button here and then adding another module selecting whatever software you want um, to have that action in and then you can go from there uh, so i've actually created one earlier so if we just look at go back to my scenarios on the dashboard right here we'll just leave that for now uh, i believe if we just check on this one here ah okay so i actually didn't um, no worries but 
I'll add a module live just so you can see how that looks anyway. So we'll just click on this plus sign here. Then we'll click on add another module. And it's just gonna ask us to search up uh, whatever software we want um, an action to happen in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna have this automation send out a tweet as well. So I'm gonna search up Twitter. And then we'll, we could see the tweets right here. So we'll say create a tweet. And then the status is going to be uh, this is a test. And we'll click OK. And once we click OK, so now we could see uh, this more, slightly more complex automation has been completed. Um, and yeah, that's a basic beginner's guide on how to use Integromat. If you did enjoy watching this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, when you sign up, also make use of my link below. Um, and if you have any questions as well, let me know. Uh, and yeah, and if you need any further help with any automations or anything like that, um, you could also check out my website below.